everyone, so this is going to be a video on my fall, autumn, fall lipsticks. So I'm just going to show you the dark lipsticks that I would go for, that I have in my collection that I think that would be really nice colours for this season. So I'm just going to show you um, the lipsticks, the lip pencils and possible lip glosses that you might want to add to them. I only have just the one high-end lipstick. I was meant to have two but I can't find the other one. The first one is MAC and this is in the shade Diva. Diva is like an intense burgundy red and this is a matte shade like that swatched on my hand but it's a lot darker in person than what it's showing you. So normally I would wear this on its own um, as a matte lipstick but the lip pencil I would pair this with would be either the NYX lip pencil in Plum which looks like that or the Maybelline lip pencil in Black Tulip. This is the Maybelline lip pencil and the shade, like I said, is Black Tulip. So if you wanted to add a bit more gloss, a bit more shine to your lips, I would pair that all of that with the e.l.f. Glossy Gloss. And this is in the shade, it is so small I can hardly read it. I think it's Merry Cherry. And the glossy glosses look like that. Really, really affordable, really cheap. I pretty much bought all the shades available. And that's the shade of the lip gloss. Really, really glossy, so you don't really need too much. The next one is a Rimmel lipstick, and I've used this on so many occasions. This is in the shade Bordeaux. This is just like a dark berry colour. And it has a slight sheen to it as well. So that's it there. Really, really gorgeous shade. I honestly reach for this so many times when I'm doing dark lipsticks or just doing the autumn fall season. I would also pair the plum lip pencil with this lipstick as well. And the next one is a slightly deeper red. This is by Sleek. And this is in the shade Cranberry. This came out in um, the last Christmas berry collection, so this was limited edition. You won't be able to find this again. You'd be really lucky if you could find it still. I mean, this is a matte finish, and that looks like that. Obviously, if you can't get this, Sleek also do another one. I think it's called Vamp. I think it's called Vamp. That's quite similar, and something else I can't remember. So what I would pair with this, I could probably guess away with wearing it on its own, but for a lip pencil, I would use the lip, the cold pencil that comes in that collection. It's called Mossberry. Uh, I could also wear this on its own without a lipstick because it's very pigmented as well and I love the shade. The next one is by Revlon and this is in the shade Raspberry Bite 745. And this is described as like a, it looks dark in the tube, but when you apply it in your lips it looks more like a true raspberry colour. These are the cream lipsticks, so it has a bit of a sheen to it, that's what it looks like there. It comes off a lot lighter than it does in the tube. I'll probably use the plum lip pencil again just to keep it more on the dark side. By the way, you can, you can get NYX on eBay, on the website, they have a website as well for those in the UK if you don't know where to get them from. So I get mine from eBay because it's so much cheaper. The next one, one of my favourites, this is by Wes and Wild. This is in the shade 908C, Sugar Plum Fairy. Absolutely gorgeous. And it has been described as a dupe to Max Rebel lipstick. So if you don't have MAC Rebel, this is literally like an exact dupe to that lipstick. I actually prefer this a lot more than the MAC one. Simply because it's a small, it feels more richer, more pigmented, you know. I don't have to use lip, a lip pencil for this. But if I was going to, I would use the NYX lip pencil in dark purple. Slightly darker to the lipstick. You could also wear this lipstick on its own as well. Looks like that. Sorry, it's not sharpened, but um, yeah. I have another lipstick by Sleek, it's not on the red side, it's more on the purple side, but if you applied it, if you applied a darker 
lip pencil first, it would give like a dark purple. This is Sleek's Mystic, which looks like that. And it just looks more like a, a really, like a blue toned purple. Nothing like Up The Amp by MAC, someone asked that in my last video, the, the video before the last one. It's nothing like Up The Amp, it's a lot darker than Up The Amp. It swatches like that on my hand, but if I added the NYX Deep Purple lip pencil, it should sort of change, it should make it a little darker. And it looks like that there. So I'm just going to show you a couple more lip glosses. The first one, they're all from NYX. The first one is called... Uh, the first one's called Burgundy and it's pretty much a burgundy shade. And it is described as a darkened raspberry red with soft ruby and micro pink micro shimmer. So that's what it looks like. If you can see how it's so like multicolored, absolutely gorgeous lip gloss. You could wear this um, with a lip pencil and just have this. If you don't want to wear a lipstick, it's really, really gorgeous. It's pretty pigmented, so you don't have to apply too much as well. You can pass it off as a lip, like lip stain. The next one is Garnet. This is described as a dark, cool toned raspberry. That's what it looks like, if you can see that. And then the final one, the final lip gloss is a NYX round lip gloss, and this is in Wild Orchid. This is described as having a combination of purple, fuchsia, and magenta and blue undertones. It looks like that really, really pretty shade as well, if you can see that. So if you're wearing a purple lipstick, Wild Orchid would be a really, really good lip gloss to go with it. So that's pretty much all I have to show you. I really hope these were helpful if you wanted to try out different lip colours for the season. I'm really loving the dark lips. I don't have anything darker than um, cranberry, but I'm, I'm really loving the dark. It's just one of the trends for the season, dark lips. So I hope you like this video. Everything will be listed down below. Um, if I haven't already said so, I am wearing MAC Diva lipstick. So just to let you know a little bit of the Merry Cherry lip gloss. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.